What up, what up? Welcome back. I'm your host, B. Ryder. My co-host, J. Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Today's topic, a little bit of a touching scenario. Mm-hmm. And we were initially going to be doing more lighthearted and funny things and kind of bring a little bit of joy into people's lives, but... Uh, This kind of happened, and we've been seeing it everywhere. I'm sure you've been seeing it too. So we decided that, yo, we need to go ahead and talk about it now. So, Yeah, so we're going to talk about Dave Chappelle's The Closer, um, his special on Netflix, and uh, Mm -hmm. the backlash he's getting from the LGBT community and whoever else. That's what we're here to tackle and cover. And this is no holes bar. It's gonna be red pill, whatever you want to call it. I'm letting, I'm letting loose. <laughs> I'm letting loose on this one. Straight up. Interesting. It's an interesting topic, and it's a uh, kind of. I guess it's been working its way to the to the top. You know, like since his subsequent uh, sticks and stones. Yeah, you know, his last special. All of his yeah. other specials has just been kind of leading up to this, so it's, this pot has kind of been simmering, and we felt it. I'm sure Dave felt it too, so that which is why he did what he did, and now it's to the point where it's kind of like. So, like, what's your what's your opinion on the backlash that he's getting from this? So, we've discussed cancel culture and comedy before and right. if you've seen our last episode about um or one of our later episodes uh, earlier episodes about cancel culture yeah we discussed that and we agree that comedy fits into a different sector it's a different kind of niche when it comes to cancel or even offense altogether because we know that comedians need the space to be funny, to push boundaries, to step to the line and over the line, right? Right. This is how comedy works, especially stand-up, in a world of stand-up. You have to sometimes make people uncomfortable to get your point across and to even make people laugh. So with that said, comedy and Dave Spell's special fits into that niche to me yeah to me it's comedy is a, a sacred cow and we kind of give comedians the space they need to be edgy and to be funny and to find that balance between the two sometimes they're gonna step over the line and do some things that you might not agree with but I believe that it's kind of their right as a comedian Now, there are lines where they can be, if it's just offensive and not funny at all, or they have the intent to hurt people. That's the intent. Sure. Right? For me. That's that's, that's where the line is. But if they are genuinely trying to get a laugh out of you, I think then they kind of deserves that. They deserve that space to try. No matter what topic it is. So, yeah, um, um, Patrice O'Neill, when he was alive, he said that. You know what I'm saying? This is, and this guy died in 2011. He was saying that it does. You should be able to say whatever you want without having all of the. I'm so offended and all that kind of stuff without worrying about all of that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And he likes being in that kind of space because it makes him feel like a comedian. Like he can, he should be able to operate in that kind of space. Right. And I think the backlash that Dave Chappelle is getting is fucking ludicrous. Like, it's ridiculous. He can talk about any marginalized group except for this one. And he did. Yeah. It's it's he it's did. their sacred cow. You can't mm-hmm. talk about being gay or trans and stuff like that. They can't handle jokes or their allies. Or, I don't even know who it is at this point. Yeah. I have an idea, yeah. but you, you like, look at this shit. 
It's all over the news. It's all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You name it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the 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 backlash is the, uh, pull all of his pull pull his special off. Really, yeah. were you listening to what he was saying? That's the thing. I think a lot of people who are critical of it probably didn't watch the special. I've seen people <laughs> comment. No. I've seen news outlets com- comment on it who did not watch the special. And it's like, you aren't doing your job if you have an opinion about this and you did not take the time to watch it. You aren't doing your job. At all. So, to me, your opinion is invalid on this if you have not watched the special. Because if you did watch it, you would see all of the moments in the special where he did offer olive branches to the trans community. There were moments when when he actually defended them, right? Now, does that mean that they are immune from jokes? Is does that mean that they are immune from deprecation, deprecating humor at that? Mm. Not at all. And if you watch the special, you would see that everything he did in there was intentional. He joked about women. He joked about black people. He joked about Jews. Yeah. Not in the greatest light either. He did deprecating jokes about them. Mm-hmm. And the trans community is the one that is up in arms about Triggered. It, which, honestly, I don't even think that it's really all like the whole trans community. I think it's like certain individuals in the in the community that have a megaphone because i've seen videos from trans people coming out in support of dave Chappelle. yeah and will but it 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 really doesn't matter it's the power right it's the power that that group holds that matters the ones that are speaking out for him you know they get they get yeah you know, swallowed up by the ones that's just barging in on Netflix, um, uh, <laughs> you know, like group meetings and mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah. and getting suspended and the no, ones right. who want to protest and say things on the internet and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of like, well, if you were listening to him, he went through a story and it, it was a, a sort of a story of his evolution. Like he said he... Uh, in like what 2004 he made jokes about um, the trans community saying things like tranny and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. like that until somebody told him that this is not something that you should do right, right you know what right. I'm saying and you listen to his story and he get all the way to close to the end and tell you about Daphne mm. yeah. uh, a, a person that's uh, in the tran- who was in the trans community who he had open for them he gave he reached down and pulled them up and gave them an opportunity to open for him. And when he did Sticks and Stones, she spoke out for him. And you know what happened? The LGBT community went on Twitter and dragged this person for almost a week straight. Now, like Dave Chappelle said, he don't know what else was going on in Daphne's life. But surely that couldn't have like helped that you, a trans person, is getting fucked over by your own community. And that person committed suicide. How do you miss everything else that he was saying? Like, especially that story. And all you hear is just like an LGBT, a, tra- a trans joke. Mm. But you don't hear that. You know, any other racial epithets that he was using, he said nigger several times. He said <laughs> bitch, and he went out his way to say, yeah, yeah. I'm saying bitch <laughs> to a woman. He admitted to, which I'm pretty sure was a joke, violence against a woman, uh, a, a, what, uh, a stud chick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you would say. Uh, um, <clears throat> I think he said a, a butch lesbian, I think. Yeah, a butch word, lesbian, but, a stud. Yeah. All the same thing. Yeah. He, he beat the toxic <laughs> masculinity out. Like, all of that was funny, right? 
because yeah. that's not a trans person. Right. The moment he said just a little thing about that, right. everybody loses their fucking minds. And I think that is re fucking ridiculous. It is. It is. And I really, I, I really like the 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 piece of the trans community that is able to pick themselves up and to look at this piece of art and even to go out of their way to defend it and Dave Chappelle because that that takes a lot to do that as as we've seen right so I, we can uh, get into that uh, we'll show you a video of a trans woman named Flame Monroe doing just that on CNN so check this out what I heard from Dave Chappelle's latest special was the the overpouring of racism that he talked about because I understand that he's talked about the transgender community and some of the things were painful to hear but funny because as a comedian that is our safe place that is where we are the safest on stage where we should feel like we should be able to say anything Nina Simone said it best how can you be an artist and not speak about the time Dave Chappelle gave his friend his words his friend who was white and transgender a job who wanted to be a comedian an opportunity to open for him Dave Chappelle is one of the greatest to do it of our time right now that was a huge opportunity to, to, for her the LGBT community never reached out to give her any opportunity like that but then they turned and said that he was transphobic he was homophobic that all the backlash that he received from two or three episodes ago from specials and she stood with her friend the transgender woman and stood with against Dave to say no he's not like that and we'll, we'll, the LGBTQIA plus community bashed this woman so bad that she jumped off a building and killed herself. Dave was not responsible for that. So who is? Because but Flame, we don't know. Thing, uh, Flame, I have uh, to say, Donna, we don't know. We don't know exactly why she killed herself. But anyway, go on. I'm sorry. Uh, her constitution and my constitution are very different. The backlash at me, I'm not going to do that. But here's the thing. Who are we blaming for that? You're not blaming Dave. Dave gave her an opportunity that the community did not give her. So, I think she was uh, pretty accurate in that. You know? yeah. Or at least I say that I agree with what she said. She was spot on. <clears throat> Fuck all I, that. I, I agree with that. <laughs> Fuck that. I think. Because that's, like, that's a reasonable response. Like, that is a person who listened to the whole special and got all of what he was saying and trying to illustrate to you. He just... Did that per like she didn't just go off of trigger words. Oh, they talking about the trans community. I'm gonna just put my fingers in my ear and go la 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 la. I don't want to hear it, and I'm just gonna be offended and upset. She didn't do that. Right, right. It's it's tough to say like he's in the wrong about any of this because if you see what he's doing. It's actually, what Dave Chappelle is doing is, he's throwing all of this on the wall, right? All of these jokes. Yeah. Some of them deliberately to entice you, to make you jump out of your seat, so that maybe, in the future, someone who isn't Dave Chappelle can come up behind him and make a trans joke and not get canceled for it. Because honestly, you can't cancel Dave Chappelle. He's he's one of these people who is non-cancelable. <laughs> Why? Because he has enough money to do goat, his shows without you. Goat status. He can he can fund his own specials. Yeah. Same thing as as J.K. Rowling. Yeah, she was canceled. She made even more money after her cancellation, and she has several movies coming out soon, while still canceled. Some of these people are uncancelable. You can't do it. I'm sorry. Twitter mob, Dave Chappelle is not going anywhere. So what he's doing, <clears throat> at least from what I see, is that he's trying to lay this foundation to where you can make jokes about anybody and everybody yeah. accept it as a joke because the next person who comes behind him if they aren't able to make these jokes, they may not be as successful as Dave Chappelle is. 
So that's what that's what I see from what he's doing. Yeah, um Keenan Ivor Wayans actually spoke about this uh recently. And he was like <clears throat> he enjoyed the fact that Dave said what he said. And he said what he said was he felt like Dave freed the slaves. Mm-hmm. And by that he meant that being a slave to the PC police being politically correct. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's out to to you know judge what you're saying and what you're doing and it it just doesn't give you a space to operate in. Right. You know because you can't say this and you can't say that because it's going to offend this person or offend this group. Right. Again, right. we understand that there's lines but did he really cross lines like that in this special like are you serious? You know, like the way the the type of backlash he's getting, you would think that he was advocating <laughs> violence against all trans people. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like that's the way this shit is coming off, mm-hmm. and it's and it's it's, it's fucking weird. What? Like Kevin Hart couldn't <clears throat> host the Grammys because of a tweet in 2010. Yeah, that's that's an example like, <laughs> of stupid cancel culture. Yeah, that's dumb. That's that's a dumb thing to do, especially after he already apologized years after that. Yeah. So. Like the same yeah. people that's advocating this shit. Were you the same ten years ago? Were you the same twenty years ago? I mean, people fucking grow up and change and have a a, a change of mind. Like, right. why are we doing this shit? Why are we doing this? Like, I, I just want a good reason. As to what fucking purpose is it to just cancel everybody for just <clears throat> any infraction when it comes to this one community? And I'm being right. Uh, you know, you could cancel our fucking show if you want to. I'm going to be real with you. This one fucking community is protected. Point blank and period. The Raiders coach who just resigned. He resigned because of them saying a homophobia stuff. Like homophobic stuff. He was saying racist shit way before <laughs> that. But in the fucking headline, you don't see racism. He resigned yeah. because of things he said in the email yeah, that was yeah. homophobic. I remember. I <laughs> like, it it might have been D. What? Hughley and then was talking about it on that show. They was wondering would he still be, would he still have his job if he had stopped at just the racism? Ben Rots, uh Big Ben for uh the quarterback of Pittsburgh Steelers still got his job and he yeah. raped women. Right. So what you what you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's a white person yeah. in America. The proof is in what the pudding. What you think? The proof is in the pudding, I think. But yeah, it's uh it's it's like like Dave iterated. He said it it's a jealousy thing. I'm jealous. We're jealous that we can't get stuff done like y'all. We right? skipped the line. <laughs> now, at the same time, I'm not going to hate on it, but there are line steppers. There are members of the community, trans supporters, that go too far, right? To where you can't criticize even a single trans person. That's yeah. a problem. Just and the thing is, we need members of the trans community to stand up and to point out when members of their community have gone too far. And I, I, I guess I'll, I'll just start my final thoughts right, right there. Is that we need y'all to say when things have gone too far. Just as I think we take it amongst ourselves to point out when the black community has gone too far. When certain members in our community say things that are stupid and should not be supported. Yeah. I think people who say that black people can't be racist is a stupid. That's a stupid concept. And I'm going to say it. And I'm going to tell you that that is a dumb thing to say. Because everybody else needs for people within the community to point out when that community has gone too far. So I look to the to the trans individuals who are level headed and can see what Dave is doing 
and to understand that if we say we can't make fun of trans people then you then we can't make fun of black people we can't make fun of jews we can't make fun of women we can't make fun of disabled people <laughs> none of that all either everything is on the table or nothing is what you got so my final thoughts um <clears throat> Like I say, either everything's on the table or nothing is. What nothing is, is just bland. And you know what? Well, one question he said in the middle of his special that struck me. He he asked the crowd, can a trans person be racist? racist. And it's like the fact that people had to mentally struggle with that was alarming to there me. There was a pause, wasn't it? Yes. There was a pause. Yes. Because when he asked the question, I'm on the other side like, oh, well, of course, what the fuck? <laughs> the fact that people had to <laughs> mentally like sh- do gymnastics to get to an answer was crazy. Because can't like because cancel culture and the LGBT community is like one at this point, and the protection behind it is immense, and people virtue signal a lot because they want to be woke you know what i'm saying it's like why did that why did that why did you struggle to come up with an answer for that when the the, the obvious answer is that yes that's possible and that's more than likely somebody out there that's trans and is racist think about this think about this think about that Think about that question. Did you struggle when he asked when he asked that question? Because if you did, you're falling victim to this whole notion of this community being untouchable. You're scared to admit to this community being able to do anything fucking wrong. And I get that I might come off as frustrated or upset because I am. When, when, when he brought up that the baby shot somebody in fucking Walmart, <laughs> and no one talks about that, but all they heard was that when he said what he said months ago on the stage about about anti <clears throat> sucking dick in a parking lot and all this kind of stuff. So it's okay to kill one of us, right? It's okay because it's, you know. America, but it's not okay to tell fucking jokes. Are you serious? So my final thoughts, even more getting deeper into my final (laughs) thoughts is that we need to, (laughs) we need to come to a level of understanding. Like the way Dave Chappelle ended the, the, the closer was great. Stop beating on our people. Don't abort the baby. Like he's saying, like this dude thought about so many complex things within this, this special that you, most people will probably have to go back and see it again after listening to us speak. I only seen it once. Yeah. It was deep. It was definitely deep. deep. (laughs) I, I implore you to go back, watch it and just listen and try to understand instead of just having thin skin and being offended by everything you hear when it comes to that community just listen to what he's saying listen to the story and let that guide you to your answer true that i I really like the way he ended it too yeah he was like stop punching down on my people yeah and he went when he said my people he meant comedians let them breathe let them do their job. When he was talking about Daphne, he said she was a member of his tribe. He was, she was his people. Stop punching down on his people. He means comedians. And if that's the message, I agree. Absolutely. So, yeah. But. Uh, Still so, a goat. Still a goat, man. So, sorry we had to get uh, serious on y'all so, so quick. It wasn't really 
expect it wasn't but, planned at all we just yeah saw what was going on it was right. like come on man right. we gotta speak on this i had to say something so thank you for listening to our ramblings once again uh maybe next week we'll get to something a little more friendly I hope so, because if they try to cancel another person for <laughs> stupidity, bro, I'm going to lose it. And I'm an advocate of gay rights and everything like that, but we're at a point where this is an abuse of power. Because I feel like y'all know that this community has power, and they know that they have power, and they're just using it willy-nilly to do whatever the fuck they want. So that's why I like what you said Hold people in your community accountable. Yeah. When they're doing something that's fucked up, speak on it, say something. Yeah. Because no community is perfect. Whether it's right. black, white, uh, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. gay, straight, whatever. Yeah. None of us are fucking perfect. And let's stop pretending that this one community is and they're just so marginalized and all this kind of stuff when they clearly have an advantage. They clearly have power that black people haven't ever seen in this fucking country. And we've been here <laughs> centuries still struggling, still struggling. There you go. It's like it just never <laughs> stopped with this. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> every time I'm, I'm, I'm trying, we're trying to close out and I keep thinking about shit. And I'm like, yo. He really was spitting some hard shit like when he said you you gay until you white. Like yeah, we yeah, get pulled get over that. if we were gay, they see our skin color first. Yeah. We you get pulled over, they see that you're white first. They don't see that you're gay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all know that gay people are black and other, you know, people of color and stuff like that, but yeah. you as a white person have privilege and then you're gay. <laughs> That's first, though, being white. Definitely recommend watching <laughs> the special. Man. There's the whole so thing. many messages embedded in that, in that show that's just great. It's good. So many nuggets in it. But, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, once again, I'm your host, B. Ryder. <laughs> J. Bell. <laughs> and this has been Final, Final Thoughts. Thoughts.